Hello everybody, Dead Man's Macaroni here. Get your macaroni ready because this is part four of Ocarina of Time. So in the last episode we went and visited Princess Zelda. Or not really visited, more like met. We got this signed autograph. And then we came here and played the chicken game in order to get ourselves a bottle. And now show you guys what exactly we're supposed to do with this autograph. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh, oh, I see. You're just a kid, and you can't read yet. Yeah. Funny guy. Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is a dead man. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. Wah ha 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 ha. What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright, you can go up now, just be careful, Mr. Hero. Wah ha ha ha. Yeah, blah blah blah. So we could go up there, but there's really nothing we're going to be able to do up there until we have Soraya's song. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shields you need there, and sure, we could do that. Or... We could just go get one from the graveyard here. Uh, and he's just telling us, asking us to go and get him a mask from the Happy Mask Shop. So we'll have to do that at some point. Just because that's part of a whole nother quest line. But <laughs> anyway, that's something for another time. Definitely not doing that right now. If I could get through this dialogue, that would be great. Awesome. Okay, so now that's open, if nothing else. <laughs> At least that's open. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's go to the graveyard, which I actually kind of wish I had done first, just because I think I was I started the video over here anyway. But oh well, in a perfect world, I probably would have. Let's cut this grass first. Eh, nothing. Oh well, tis a shame. Dude, shut up. I don't want to talk to you. You're worthless. Your dialogue means nothing. At least I assume. Anyway. So, as I was saying, we can get... Oh, wait. Yeah, we aren't going to be able to do it with the kid here because he won't let us move the graves. And uh, to get what I want to get, I have to be able to go under the graves. But, that shouldn't be a problem, because we can just go ahead and pick this up while we're here, which I was probably going to do anyway. So, I'll play Zelda's Lullaby, which we picked up in the last episode. So I think I said it then, too, but man, that song is just all kinds of useful in ways that you really would not think. And now we get this little entertaining cutscene here that, when I was younger, that used to crack me up so bad watching that. I don't know why. Watching it now, it's really not that funny, but I don't know. I would say Wind Waker definitely has some funnier cutscenes, of course. They could do more with Wind Waker, you know, than they could with this. So, you know, there's a reason for that. Oh, dude. Okay, screw it. Let's just get closer. See, this is what I'm talking about. That slingshot game is just not going to be at all easy. It never is, but less so easy now than it was before. Alright, pretty simple. Just kill all those bats and... And this guy did drop seeds. I thought I saw seeds, so. Which we are running low on. Which is weird, because I don't usually have any issues with that. But. Oh well. Sometimes it's a problem. So with these, I just like to run through 
or jump into all of these little um, acid, whatever you want to call it, little damaging pools of acid, because if you don't, then all of the reeds kind of stop you. But anyway, this film is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade, from sun to moon, moon to sun, if peace will rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers. Keep the sun song in your heart. Alright. Oh, this song, I mean... It's useful. It's not particularly helpful for, like, progression. But it's good. It's just good to have. You know? I mean, obviously, if you couldn't tell, it's the song that turns day to night and night to day, which... There's a certain parts of this game where it has to be a certain time of day. One of which we are about to do, actually. In order to get the shield... Uh, the kid won't let you move the the gravestones um, because he says he'll tell Dompe, the gravekeeper, who's there at night. But the funny part is, is that Dompe doesn't care if you move them. Dompe himself, so it's like, I don't know, I always found that kind of funny. That the reason why you can't do it when the kid is there is because he'll tell Dompe, but then Dompe doesn't actually try to stop you. So it's just, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Wait a minute. I thought Dompe wasn't actually supposed to be here. Huh. Well, maybe we can play his game, if nothing else. While he's here, might as well. Give it a shot. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement from my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave-digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want me to dig here? Yep, sure do. What do we get? Aw, oh, damn. Nothing. Huh? Well, I was hoping he would at least give us back our money, but... Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do this right now, actually. Let's open this up at least. And then now that he's already well on his way there, I might just check this hole just in case. Just in case it happens to be right there. Dude, come on. Come on, buddy. One or two more steps. Perfect. Because I don't want to be kicking myself later if... It was right here or whatever. I don't know. And it wasn't, but we got more money to keep doing this, so. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just because that way we don't have to come back here later and do it. Although, I mean, this is not the last time we're going to be coming to this graveyard. I guarantee you that. I don't even know what how much money that was. I didn't even see it. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Dompe. Can we speed this along any? Don't look like it. Yeah, you pretty much just have to wait for him. Which, he takes his sweet ass time, let me tell you. Dude. Oh, uh, well. Looks like we aren't going to get it this time, but... Oh well, I wasn't really expecting to anyway. That was just kind of a waste of time, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, so if we fall down here, there's this treasure chest. And we can grab it. And it's a Hylian shield, which is the shield that we could have went back to the town market and bought. For, I don't even know how many rupees, because I usually don't get it. I usually just get this. It's easier, and it's free. So once you know about it, it's like, you really can't bring yourself to buy one when you know that that's there. You know what I mean? Just can't do it, man. Just 
can't do it. And we know that it's night time here, we can actually pick up some Skeletolas here, which there are just all sorts of Skeletolas around here, so I suppose we might as well get that out of the way. Much as I'd rather start, wait, I was going to say as much as I'd rather start heading up Death Mountain, but come to think of it, we actually can't head up, or we could, but there's nothing we can do up there. Wow, it is lagging bad right now, and I'm not sure what's causing that. I think it just does sometimes, I don't know. It seemed to be doing it pretty bad in the last episode when I was picking up chickens, but... I don't know, I've noticed when I, even when I was playing, you know, when I wasn't recording, I noticed that it was lagging a little bit here and there, so... You know, it's probably not the per most 100%. Stable ROM in the world, but seems to work pretty well. I can't complain too much. I mean, given that my only complaint with it is that it's a little bit laggy at points, that's pretty good. Like, considering some ROMs you can barely even play, this one is pretty good, I would say. Anyway, probably shouldn't even be talking about that, but whatever. There's another one. And then the last one we're going to get here is right up, up here. Way the hell up there on that ladder. Oh, dude, can we actually aim at it? That'd be great. Alright. Climb on up here, and while we're up here, there's actually something else we can grab that... We aren't technically supposed to be able to get it right now, and if you've played this game before, you probably know, already know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, come to the far side of this here, and side hop off that. And you should be able to land on this fence here. And then climb up on this roof, and you can talk to this guy. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. So he gives you a piece of heart, and you're not actually supposed to be able to get this until much later in the game, but if you know about that, you can get it a lot earlier on, so that's helpful to know. Anyway, do we have ten Skeletals yet? No, we're missing one. Of course, typical. <laughs> so I guess let's head back to the forest then, because that is the next place we need to go. I mean, technically you're supposed to go up Death Mountain first and figure out that you can't progress and then, you know, head back, but I'm just going to skip all that nonsense. I suppose we could run over to Lawnmon Ranch and just make this a dicking around episode and not really make any progress, but eh. I would rather go make some progress, honestly. <laughs> Definitely some stuff we could do over at Lawn Lawn Ranch, though. Don't get me wrong. There's lots of stuff we could do right now. Who am I kidding? We barely even scratched the surface here. It's kind of crazy, like... You really don't think about it the first time you play the game, but it's kind of crazy just how much stuff you can actually get as a kid in this game. Like, you can, you can really get quite a bit. A lot more than you think. Then again, a handful of that you can only get by glitching the game. Then you're not technically supposed to be able to get a lot of it, so that's probably why. Whoa, what is going on there? What is up with this, like, giant cloud? I don't know, that's weird. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there or not. I don't recall ever seeing it, but... And again, what the hell do I know? Wait, where am I going? I know where I'm going. We still got some time here, good news. Good news. Alright. 
make our way on in here. There's actually a few things we can pick up while we're in here, too. Come to think of it. One or two things, anyway. So we can't do this yet, because we don't... Well, I guess we will be able to shortly, though. And we can come on over here. Oh, wait. I don't have enough rupees for this. Eh, damn it. But basically, there's a business scrub over there, and he'll sell you uh, a Deku stip stick uh, capacity upgrade for, like, 40 rupees, I think it is. So we're going to have to come back for that at a later date, but anyway, for now, let's just head on across here, and then it starts playing the melody for you to follow, and if you come right over here, there's this little target here, I didn't actually notice this for the longest time, like the first few times I played it, I didn't know this was here, and it, which is weird, because it's, it's pretty obvious. And once you find you get one, you pretty much have it nailed. So pretty much you get three bullseyes. And then this Mr. Scrub here comes out. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. Thanks very much, friend. Which is weird because normally we'd be fighting one of those, but actually no. We'd be fighting one of the ones with an orange top. Not a green top. Anyway. Not an important distinction. We are running out of space here. I'm not sure if I want to do this right now. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I do. Eh. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Oh, dude, I didn't want to do this. What are you doing? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Okay. You want to play some more? No, I don't. We're going to have to come back and do that sometime where I've got, you know, a little bit more space. For now, let's just keep going here. As far as we can. Whoop. Almost went the wrong way there. Gotta listen to the melody. Hey, over here. Hoo hoo. Dead man. Good to see you again. Listen to this. Hoot hoot. After going through the lost woods, you will come upon the sacred forest meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh. What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too. Do you want to hear what I said again? Hell no, I don't. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoot hoot. So yeah. They pretty much tell you right there what you have to do. I guess the owl isn't 100% useless all the time, but... Eh. Who am I kidding? He pretty much is. So... Yep, it's definitely this one. And... Uh, this time it's actually this one. And there we go. Found it already. Simple enough. That is actually really simple if you just listen. Don't try anything fancy. Fancy schmancy. No, just... Pretty much do what the owl says, follow your ears, and you're there within a matter of minutes. Even that. So, I'm pretty much just going to run through this, since I'm kind of hard-pressed here for time. Yeah, you really don't even have to deflect the, sh the Deku Seeds with these guys. I mean, it's how you're supposed to beat them, but sometimes you can get away with not if you're fast enough. Oh, we can just cut through here, actually. What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Alright. There we go. Pretty simple stuff. So, eh. 
No, screw it. Let's just get this cutscene in this episode. Hopefully that won't be too long. <laughs> Alright. Can we get it going here? Jeez. This always makes me so nervous that the video is going to be too long and not going to turn out because there wasn't enough space for it or, you know, because I've had that happen before. <laughs> Ugh. Just a mess. I've been waiting for you, dead man. This is the sacred forest meadow. It's my sacred, my secret place. I have a feeling this place will be very important for us both, for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Sure enough, would. Okay, try to follow along with this with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. Don't know why I didn't read that last button, or that last note the first time there, but... Oh well. Great, great. Please, don't forget this song, do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Soraya's song. You can talk with me anytime. And now we get this awesome little melody here. Oh, I love that so much. We learned Soraya's song. Great. Probably not one of the, or probably actually one of the least useful songs in the game. I mean, it's really just good for plot progression here and there. So, uh, maybe we'll just show off this one more thing real quick before I end the episode. Um, and that is if you climb up this ladder here and jump down here there's actually a little hole here that you can fall into man that is not great but and since we have an empty bottle here that the lady kindly gave us for saving her cuckoos in the last episode we can get ourselves a fairy might as well while we're here, right? I figure. If I could actually get one, that'd be good. Dude, can one of you heal me, please? Thank you. Jeez. That is, like, really precise. How you have to hit them. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So, in the next episode, we'll climb up this ladder and head out of the forest. So, and head up Death Mountain. So, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys next time. See you then.